Hi there. My name is Amanda Labrotash Lampkin, and I am the owner of Line by Lion Publications and co-owner of Pixel and Pen Studios. And today I am here to talk to you about the do's and don'ts of querying a publisher. So, the conventional wisdom always says to start with the positive, so that's what I'm going to do. When you are querying a publisher, do your research as to who owns the company. Um, I get a lot of query letters and the bulk of them are not addressed to me. Um, I get a lot of them addressed to Dear Sir. Now one of my good friends did indicate that as my name ends with an A in some cultures that designates a male and so in those situations those individuals get a pass. Um, in all other cases, they get a pass too. They get a pass to the slush pile. Do not pass go. Do not collect any future potential royalty checks. Um, listen, I'm not a man hater. I'm not against males. I like males. There's one in particular who I like very much. However, this business is not, nor has it ever been, owned by a sir. And that's something that I am really, really proud of. There are so few women publishers. There are so few women who write in the sci-fi genre, and I'm both, and that's something that I am proud of. I have built this business from the ground up with my blood, sweat, and tears, and I want to be recognized for that, and I want to be recognized that I did that as a woman in a male-dominated field. I also get lots and lots of query letters that are addressed to my ex-editor-in-chief. That really wouldn't be a problem, except the ex-editor-in-chief was never in charge of acquisitions. Also, the ex-editor-in-chief is married to my now ex husband. <laughs> Guess how they met. And so while I am not bitter or angry and wish them nothing but the joy of one another, um, she's no longer with the publishing house. There are people that are probably enlightened enough to continue working together under those circumstances. I am not one of them. Um, so do know to whom you are writing. Don't threaten the publisher. I get a lot of thinly veiled threats in the query letters and they range everything from if you are smart you will accept this to if you reject me I know that you're just like everyone else. Uh, my favorite query letter of all time um, came from a wizard shaman who was releasing a dating app geared towards those who are interested in those of the same sex. And while I don't really have problems with wizards or shamans, and I certainly don't have problems with people who are attracted to the same sex, um, they, they wanted the book to coincide with the release of the app and indicated to me that if I do not accept it, then I am just another unenlightened capitalist pig. Don't do that. Um, if you're insulting me when you're on your best behavior, makes me wonder what's going to happen when you're on your worst. Um, which brings me to my next point. Do manage your expectations and do your research to make sure that I can meet them. I get lots and lots of query letters that say that we're going to make a million dollars together and that this is going to be the next box office hit. And listen, I would like nothing more. Um, but we're not that. We're not one of the big six. We don't quite have that reach or clout. I wish we did. I really do. Um, but when you think that we're going to make millions of dollars and then we don't make millions of dollars, what that leads to is Angry Author Mondays. Now, most of the people that I represent now through a rather large winnowing process um, are amazing people and I'm honored to work with them. However, it used to be that I could track about 8.30 a.m. around the globe because that's when I'd start getting nasty grams via email or voice message when people got to work on Monday, settled in to their day job, realized they hated their day job, and decided that I was to blame. 
So make sure I can meet your expectations and manage your expectations to something appropriately. Okay, there are people who make millions and billions of dollars. The reason we know them is because they are the exception to the rule. So those are your do's and don'ts of querying a publisher. Next time, I'll be talking about the do's and don'ts of your manuscript submission. Thanks guys for hanging out with me. Talk to you soon. Bye.